We're going to have a good time. Hi guys, Todd here. Today we're going to be having a look at an RDA from Malaysia and it's called the number one RDA and it's by Black Rose. Uh, the, I'll, we're just going to dive straight into this. Uh, before we dive straight in I shall put up a little splash screen. It will give you a list of everything you get with this and it will give you the price which is $300. Please factor in that you will have import fees, you will have postage fees and PayPal fees on top of that. So even though it says it's $300, there's a good chance that it's going to cost you closer to $400. So, something to think about. Anyway, close-ups. Now this RDA is only available through a Facebook group and I think that group is hidden and secret and uh, I'm pretty sure also that you, there may be a vouch system. Not entirely sure, uh, but yeah, it comes in a really nice box, and yes, we do have this black rose here. The one thing I will say is that considering the price of this, everything that came, it, it came all wrapped in plastic, uh, but I would have liked to have seen, you know, like a felt liner inside, and you know, the atti, you know, the presentation a bit more on point, rather than just being everything wrapped in plastic. Inside the box you are going to get a, a little packet, we're going to have uh, you know, all the o-rings going on here, we have a standard 510 pin, we have a squonking 510 pin and uh, spare screws. We have an Ultim reducer, so you can take this down if you just want to run a, a single coil, uh, so we've got that. And we also have lots of drip tips and things. Uh, so we have two 510 drip tip adapters here. and. Listen, I, I'm going to talk about many things in this review, but there's one thing I I really cannot take away. Uh, the finishing on this gear is top notch. Uh, it really is. The, the polishing and everything is sublime. Uh, so we have two 510 drip tip adapters. We've got a couple of small bore uh, 510 drip tips going on here. Stainless steel inserts, uh, Juma and Raffier I think it is. Or is that that one? Anyway, uh, we have these and they are gorgeous. And we also have two larger board drip tips. Uh, these are not 810. Uh, these are uh, bespoke ones, uh, but once again, they are finished really, really well. So the AT itself is 22 millimeters in diameter and it's about 17, 18 millimeters in height. And once again, as I said for the drip tips, I, I mean, I've used this, so but excuse me if there's any marks on this, but it's, it's done very very well. Uh, it is finished to a very very high standard and I will not knock any points off of it for that. Uh, we have serial numbers and you know the black rows and everything going on there. Uh, we have dual sided airflow, so we've got airflow on both sides and you adjust your ASC just by spinning that and then tightening down the top section which we have seen on Atties going back into the back in the dawn of time. Uh, so adjust here spin, hold that, tighten that down and that's you set. With a drip tip on top, just using one of the supplied ones here, that pops in like that and there we go. It is an extremely good looking atty. I mean it's an old school, don't get me wrong, I mean the styling of it, the look of it and everything is very old school in my book, uh, but it is beautiful. Taking the top cap off, we'll put the deck to one side and you can see inside here that once again, everything is finished really, really well. Uh, but uh, yeah, once again, there's no fancy dome or anything going on here. It's just your, your standard top cap inside. You can see that there. But I mean, all this is still polished. Take the AFC off and you can see that we've got to, you know, three holes going on there. So you can, if you want, like I said, with the Ultim insert, run this as a single coiler. These air holes here are just over six by two millimeters in size. Uh, uh, so you will get a lot of air through this if you so desire. You can put really big chunky coils in this and go to town. But we'll pop this back together and we're gonna leave this in a dual coil setup. So just screw that back down there. And we'll be using a wide bore drip tip for this one. Pop that in. And here we go with the deck. Now, uh, Yes, this is a three poster. Uh, this is, and, and I'm, I'm not being a smart ass. Uh, I'm not taking away from the finishing on this at all. I mean, you can see here, you know, these are all highly polished here. The machining and everything is really, really nice. But this for me is, yeah, 
this is an old school three post deck. Now I'm not dismissing that because I had some great times with three post decks and you can get a great vape from them. But uh, yeah, this is, once again, this is kind of old school. Other thing is that, you know, when I'm back and we've got Phillips screws here, uh, you know, they're not spring loaded or anything. You know, it's the old, you have to tip it up or lift it up to get them to open. But you can see that we do have, see how you've got a, a, the gate in there? So you can slot your wire in there and it gets trapped uh, quite easily. You just have to make sure that you sit that back down right. If we pull back the positive post, you can see that we've got a dual gate there. Oh, hang on, come to daddy. There we go, you can see you've got a dual gate. So this does make it very, very easy for doing your dual coils. It's not like the, you know, the three posters when they first came out and you know it was just a pain in the backside getting them set up. This one is relatively easy. So there we go, post lifted, I'm going to throw in two coils. So there we go, we're all built. Uh, this is coming out at 0 0.25 ohms, uh, and that is how high I have my coils. It's just so that I make sure that, you know, when I have the cap on, uh, I, the, the air is hitting just the lower half of the coil as such, uh, and, and that's what works for me with these builds. Uh, it's so, so easy actually building this, uh, but maybe that's because yeah, I've been doing three posters for so long now. Uh, but you can see that uh, the positive leg on each coil is going to the outside edge. Uh, yeah, you, you can if you want. It, it might be slightly easier putting your positive leg on the coil on the same side as the negative. But to ensure that I can get them centered properly, I just put it to the outside there. Don't worry about having big long legs, you know, just kind of cut it short and then they just sit in there, no problem at all. And yeah, once again, dead easy to build on. As far as cotton goes, I've just tweezed it out and I've cut it up at a little 45 degree angle there. You do not need a lot of cotton. Um, you can drip with this, it's, it's a great dripping at it, but it's also a very good squonking one and I shall be squonking with this one today. And in saying that, I think I missed this out. I don't know if you'll be able to see in there. The actual squonking hole is raised above the deck, which I like because uh, it just means that when you squonk, it puts some liquid into the deck, but it leaves some as well. It doesn't drain it all away. It just, you know, so you're going to make sure that your cotton's fully saturated there. So there we go. All juiced up, ready to go. Top cap back on. And I don't know if you'll see through there, but see how the air hole's just hitting the lower half of that coil? and you can see where it is positioned in there. Chunky drip tip, back on. I've popped this onto a, a voyeur here just now, and a little push, and we're ready to go. So there you go, the number one RDA by Black Rose. Uh, pros, we'll start with the pros. Uh, the finishing on this is up there. It really is finished very very well can't take that away from it the drip tips are amongst the most comfortable drip tips i have ever vaped with they are gorgeous and once again the finishing on them is just stunning so there you go presentation wise it is just top notch uh, i will say that the box i do wish you know how you get the foam inlay uh, i mean because you see this on 25 dollar mods uh, or atties you know and just laid out inside there it would be so much nicer than everything just wrapped in bits of plastic uh, so for the price yeah i would like to see that uh, so there you go presentation the fit and finish of the actual device flawless superb the vape from it uh, i actually the thing is Three post atties, they always vape well. Uh, this is design wise as far as it goes for the vape. I mean, it's just, there's no fancy dome chamber or anything. Uh, the three posts have got those little gates on them, which I, I do like. It just makes it so much easier to build on, but it really is like going back, back in the midst of time building on this. It's just nothing you have really haven't seen before. I, I know the modder has, uh, did give me claims about yeah, voltage drop and all the rest of it and whatnot, but I've not noticed any vast improvement on this over any RDA I have tested in the past five years. Uh, so there you go. I do like the fact that he's polished the posts on this as well. Uh, that That is really nice. And yeah, it's a three post atty. <laughs> I can't get away from this fact. It is a simple three post atty, uh, but the vape is really, really good. Uh, 0 
four, five, uh, in this uh, I'm on just a, a simple MOSFET, a Voyeur, and uh, I've got the airflow fully open, dual coil, really easy to put a build in, very easy, and it's nice. It's good. I, I, I will say it. it's a really nice vape from it. And the top cap is not... If I was to chain vape at that that resistance and with the coils being as high as they are, yeah, the top cap would get quite hot. But, um, you know, I don't chain vape like that. Um, these are Fuse Clapton's 3mm ID. Uh, I've had 2.5s in there. I've had the single coil in there. Uh, the airflow as it stands right now, I don't know if you'll be able to hear this well, but it's a direct lung. Um, you can go direct lung to restricted direct lung. I don't believe it's a mouth to lung. I just, I mean, you could close it down to a mouth to lung if you wanted, but nah. Mouth, direct lung, restricted direct lung, you will be able to do dual or single coil. Uh, I'm going to stop there. I, I really do think it's a very, very pretty atty. And it does vape well, uh, but it's for me. It's it's just a three post atty. Uh, th things have kind of moved on uh, design wise, and and I and I don't really see much in this design wise. I cannot fault the finishing, the polishing, the drip tips, and all the rest of it. But for me, and I am somebody that in my, my comments, in my YouTube channel, one of the things I put as a sticky is, do not complain about price. Do not complain about availability and clones and things like that. These things are not things that I normally get into um, because I don't worry about what you do with your money. If you want to spend $300 on an RDA with, a for me, a design that's from several years ago, that's your call. Uh, that isn't what you do with your money is your decision. And it's not for me to judge at all, at all. I mean, I spend lots of money on devices and people get their knickers in a twist about that. So I'm not going to do it with other people. And if you like the look of this and, and you are a Black Rose fan and all the rest of it and it's, it's gear you must have, Go for gold, knock your socks off, and uh, I really do hope you enjoy the Atty. But for me personally, it's just not one I would buy myself. But I will add a note in at the end here. Yes, there was a little bit of drama about this Atty with the mod maker and so on. None of which I am interested in in the slightest. Uh, this review is, was, this was given the same review that I would give any Atty. It doesn't matter how I feel about mod makers and what they've said about me and, and, and all the drama and stuff at the end of the day. A device will always get the exact same review and it, this is my honest opinion. Maybe not facts, opinion. Uh, but uh, hopefully you enjoyed it and if you are interested in one then hopefully you know somebody that's in the Facebook group that can get you in. Uh, I think it's just called Black Rose. Uh, but uh, that's it. We shall see you next time. Bye for now.